going to change the aerator oil today. Uh, we don't usually change it after a certain number of hours. We just look at it every day. And if it looks thick and muddy, or if it starts to look thick and muddy, that's when we change it. And I'm going to show you how to do that. I use Valvoline 10W30. Now, when you're pouring in oil, you want to make sure that the engine is level. So sometimes in order to do that, you got to put the spikes down, even on the concrete. So that'll level out the engine. So what we're going to do here is put the funnel in the back slot where the oil gets poured into. By the way, this front slot and the back slot go to the same place. And believe it or not, it doesn't take very much oil. So pour slowly. And as soon as you see the oil reach the top of the threads, that's all the oil you need. So if you want to pour more, go for it. But we usually pour it till, it, till the oil reaches just the top of the threads. And it doesn't take very long. So I pour it, so I pour it little by little because you won't believe how fast it fills up because it doesn't take much. See that? It's already reaching the top of the threads and that's all the oil you need. Then you put the caps back on. Because it doesn't take very much oil, you want to check the oil levels every single day. Because if this dries up, the engine will seize, and then basically you need to buy a whole new engine. And those are like four to five hundred dollars. So that's it.